What's going on Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV and in today's video we're going to talk about the best swing animations in the game for your Road to the Show player or for your created player in Diamond Dynasty. Now in my last gameplay video I did talk about how I had a new secret swing that I had not released yet and I'm going to release that in this video as well as I'm going to go over some other swing animations that are really really good and really can help you hit better in MLB the show 19 so let's jump right into this and I'm gonna show you guys right off the bat the swing animation that I am using now I'd like you guys to put down in the comments below your favorite swing animations who knows I might try one out sometime and it's probably most likely going to help somebody else get a good idea of which swing animation to use but the swing animation I'm using right now is Paul Mulder and let me tell you guys why I'm using Paul Mulder first and foremost one of the devs in the game he said he really likes the Paul Mulder card and I think it's a very underrated card that no one's I'm not really seeing in anybody's lineup right now it's a battle royale reward card that you can buy out of the market but I think Paul Mulder is the swing I'm going to be going with for a while I really like it um, one of the reasons that I really like it is because it is a two-handed slap swing and what I mean by that is we take a look at the swing there see how he keeps two hands on the bat and it's kind of a slap swing you really want a quick swing and it's a really really good swing and the two-handed just kind of helps that slap uh, type of action that you get from this swing so it's a really really good swing as you look at the animation I usually like to rotate zoom on the swings when I can and uh, you can kind of uh, I think it's if I go back one go back here it's good to like kind of look at it from this view because that's how you're gonna like if you're just like going through a couple of them that you want to see I like looking at it from this view because this is what it's gonna look like in game and uh, with the hand offset and all this stuff I, I really don't mess with that too much uh, just because I don't want to mess with the animations too much I just like to go in and get the pre-rendered ones that they have in the game so I really like the Paul Mulder, but there's a many, many options that you can choose from and many different ones that I've used with success so far in the game. So some of the uh, current players that I really like, um, that just there's just certain swings that it feels like you get a lot of pop off the bat for whatever reason. Now one that I really would recommend is Ronald Acuna Jr. I think this is a really good swing as well to try out he uh just this card it just seems like the ball it just pops off of his bat it's a really good swing to use another really beast animation to use is jose ramirez and jose ramirez is a switch hitter and that's important because a lot of us have created players or road of the show players that are switch hitters and because he's a switch hitter his animation is real clean from both sides of the plate now sometimes a right-handed hitter his animation isn't as clean from the left hand side and vice versa left-handed animation might not be as good from the right hand side so it's always good to go look at switch hitter animations and try those out because most of us are switch hitters jose ramirez i really recommend it like i said he kind of like once he sets his front foot down all he has to do is bring his hands through it's a really smooth swing i highly highly recommend jose ramirez swing now getting back to the slap swing type of animation i think Corey seager is also it's always been a really beast one to use always been a really good one to use Corey Seager is definitely a beast one. We're going to go through a lot of these a little bit quicker. Schwarber's not a bad one, especially if you're a left-handed hitter. It's a little bit long. You do want a short, powerful swing. I'd like to try out this Am Andrelton Simmons. Uh, I actually think he has a really good swing animation in this year's game. I know I've seen like McGunsky hit some home runs with that Andrelton Simmons card. And I've actually had someone hit one against me, and he has like zero power, but he has tons of pop. So I think the Angelton Simmons is another really good swing. Uh, Ryan Schimpf is another really good slap type of swing as well. Definitely worth checking out. Now, if you have like, um, you know, maybe you're playing Road of the Show and want more of a power swing that's longer, I would definitely suggest. Uh, if I can find him here, Joey Gallo, it's got that big open stance, dramatically open, that'll just, you know, get you a lot of power. 
generated. It's a real smooth swing. Uh, everybody knows Immortal Joe, Joey Gallo is. He's always incredible. Has a really good swing in the game. Now you can always go to the cover boy of the game. Uh, he's had a good swing for years, and that guy is obviously Bryce Harper. He's always had a really smooth swing. They did redo his animation this year. They kind of had that rock in his like right shoulder or right elbow or left elbow if you're hitting from the other side of the plate. So Bryce Harper always has a very, very good swing in the game. Uh, I think another really good swing that just one of those swings that has a ton of pop for whatever reason in this game is Aaron Judge. Again, this is a little bit longer of a swing, but the ball jumps off of his bat really well. I think this is a really good swing animation to use this year. Now, I think this specific Ichiro Suzuki is a really good one. Not the 2001, and you guys are going to see this when we go into the Legends. Uh, I think that the, just the regular Ichiro Suzuki, a really good slap swing, a really good swing as well. Be sure to check out the Ichiro Suzuki. I think that's a good one to use. You can always go with Mike Trout. He's got a good swing animation, one of the better swings in the MLB. Always a solid one. And then getting into Troy Tulowitzki, I wouldn't use this one. I would use this one. This one is a really nice closed stance, really great animation, been in the game a long time. Really like this Troy Tulowitzki, Tulowitzki swing. A lot of people like to use Christian Yelich's swing. It's a good swing to use as well. I think this Ben Zobras swing is really good. Again, Ben Zobras, switch hitter. We're looking for stuff like that. He's a really good swing to use as well. This Jose Batista swing is really, really nice. One of the better cards in the entire game. It's Jose Batista, especially that um, AL East reward. He's one of the best cards in the game to use in Diamond Dynasty. He's got that big leg kick that you can time and time very uh, well to get good hits. Definitely check out Jose Batista. Good swing. Cody Bellinger, another really good swing in the game to check out and use. Um, he's really, really beast. And one thing I should say, guys, is if you're using a card that you really, really like to use, consider making him the exact same height and weight as that card, and then you will have like a duplicate version of that card. So if you're hitting really well with a particular card, I would recommend putting that swing on your cap, on your creative player. Charlie Blackman has another good swing. I feel like I'm saying this a lot, but he has another good slap swing. Charlie Blackman has a good swing. I really like Josh Donaldson's swing as well. He's been a beast card this year. He has a lot of pop. He kind of like loads his hands up. Uh, it's a really good swing. I suggest you try this one out if you want like more of a power swing. Now, here's a swing I really, really like as well, and it's Reese Hoskins' swing. I honestly think Reese Hoskins probably has the best swing in Major League Baseball. It is one of the purest swings ever. He gets his hands right back, has a nice little leg kick. It's so smooth. And the way they mo capped, they motion captured this animation, it looks exactly to me how it does in real life. One of my favorite swings. Definitely, definitely recommend the Reese Hoskins swing. Another really underrated swing I think this year is Jason Kipnis. That bronze Jason Kipnis is a really good card to use in Battle Royale. I think give Jason Kipnis a try and see how you think it goes. I think it's, it would go very, very well. J.D. Martinez has a real smooth swing for a power hitter as well. One of the best hitting cards in the game. I definitely would give J.D. Martinez a try if you haven't already. Now let's get into some of the legend swings that I think you guys should try out. The first one is going to be Tony Gwynn, not the 1994, even though this doesn't look too bad, but I would just go with the regular Tony Gwynn. I think that's a really good one. I was using it a lot. Obviously, Tony Gwynn's really, really good in the game. Second best card in the game right now, in my opinion. So check out this Tony Gwynn swing. Another super beast swing to use is King Griffey Jr., not the 1990, but the regular King Griffey Jr., great animation, especially from the left side and even from the right side there. It looks pretty dang good. Really, really beast swing. I highly recommend it. Now, if you want like a textbook swing as well, I really like the Pudge Rodriguez swing. It's a nice, nice swing that they put in the game. Uh, I really, really recommend the Ivan Rodriguez, Pudge Rodriguez swing as well. It's a nice swing. Low-key, one of the best, if not one of the best players in this entire game is Kenny Lofton. And with the way contact plays this year, I would definitely check out the Kenny Lofton swing. 
Very, very, very good swing as well. Short, combat, compact, and quick, which is what you really want in this game so you can catch up to pitches quickly. Uh, I, I like the Kenny Lofton swing. I suggest you guys give it a try. Got to mention Chipper Jones goes back to that switch hitting thing that we talked about earlier. Chipper Jones, a B swing. I really wouldn't go with the 2008. I would go with the regular Chipper Jones. Very, very good swing. I would suggest that you guys try that out. So what are some of you guys' favorite swing animations? Drop that down in the comments below. Who knows? I might even try one of them out in a video in the future. And you guys will probably help somebody out. Just get that discussion going. I hope this video helps you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video or if this video helped you out, drop a like on it. Hit the subscription button if you would like more MLB The Show content. And uh, follow me on Twitter at MovieGamingTV if you guys want to see what's going on with me. When you, If you want to see when new videos are being posted or when I'm going to go live or if I'm just discussing something on ML, about MLB The Show, check out my Twitter page. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.